Hey guys, if I are trying to launch the first Ascendant and it's just not loading, then keep watching us in this video. I'm going to show you some quick and easy steps you can take to fix this issue. Now it's fairly straightforward, so let's jump straight into it. And the first thing you need to do is launch up the Steam application. And once you're inside of Steam, we need to come over to library from the top here and you need to locate the first Ascendant from this list of games in the left and you need to right click and come into manage and select browse local files. Then, inside of this folder, we need to locate the first Ascendant to Exand. You're going to right-click on this file and come into Properties inside of the Compatibility tab over the top. And you need to ensure that Disable Full Screen Optimizations is checked, and also run this program as Administrator is checked. And then press Apply and OK to save the changes. And then we're going to come out of this window. And the next thing you need to do is head over to the Start menu and search for Windows Defender, and then tap on the Windows Defender Firewall and from the left select Allow an Apple feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on this Changes Settings button at the top. And then we're just going to come over to Allow another app inside of Browse and we need to find the first Ascendant applications. So this is usually saved within the C drive inside of Program Files x86. Come all the way down till you fin the Steam folder, come inside of Steam Scroll, all the way down till you find Steam Apps and come inside of here, inside of Common, inside of the First Ascendant folder. And you'll find this First Ascendant to Exfil. We just need to double click on this and click on Add to add it to the list of exceptions. And once you've added it to the list, just scroll down to find the first Ascendant. It will actually be labeled in here as Bootstrap Packaged Game, and we just need to ensure that both private and public are ticked here, and then we can press OK to save these changes. And the next thing you need to do is come over to the Start menu and search for Run and tap on this Run icon, and inside of here we just need to search for App Data and hit Enter come inside of the Local folder. And you should see a folder inside of here called M1, and we just need to right-click on this folder, and we're going to press the Trash icon to delete it, and then you can close out of this folder. And the last thing we're going to do is head over to the Steam app, come over to the top left inside of Steam, come over to Settings, shed to the Downloads tab from the left there, there and scroll down and press this clear cache button, and then just go ahead and depress confirm in. This is going to restart the Steam application and may require you to log back in. Since the Steam application's restarted itself, then we need to come into Library from the top, here, find the first Ascendant and right-click and come into Properties, come into Installed Files from the left here, and then select Verify Integrity of Game Files. And this is just going to uncheck all of our files to ensure nothing's corrupt or broken. Just allow this a few seconds to complete and once that's finished, we can then try launching the first Ascendant to see if that's fixed the issue. And if that's still not working, then the very last thing we can do, that would be sure to fix. This issue is to right-click on the first Ascendant there come into Properties. And you'll see this launch options inside of the general tab now inside of here we just need to type in the hyphen signal and then x11 and then once again you can close out of here and you can't re relaunching the game now if that still doesn't fix the issue just come back into properties and we're going to change this dx11 to dx12 okay then you have to download this pack link in description after downloading simply extract here and then open up this and then open first folder okay now run this direct deck After that, go to Next Folder and run these all services just by running this one. So run this file. Okay again, go back and open this last folder and run this files.
Okay, and that's it guys. By following all of these steps, you should now be able to launch the first Descendant without any problems. If this video did help you, then please consider dropping a like and subscribing. Until next time.